After a brief hiatus of close to 22 years, Java is back in India thanks to the efforts of classic legends. They have received phenomenal response as the buzz around the Czech manufacturer is at all time high. So which one should you have in your garage? But before we carry on, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell to stay notified. The first bike that Java produced was called Just the Java and that set the trend for their future products to come. Classic Legends has paid homage to the bike by calling their first product the Java as well. The styling is unmistakably Java. The round fuel tank, the round headlamp, the toolbox panels and the big swooping mudguards look just like the Javas of yore. The modern bit on this Java is a fuel injected 293cc single cylinder motor which is also liquid cooled and has a slick 6 speed gearbox. Hold on, but before you cry mojo, let us tell you that the base might be the same but it has a fairly different state of tune. Thus, it takes 27.37 PS and 28 Newton meters of torque. Classic Legend states that the engine has a flat torque curve and it will help deliver more accessible performance. They have also kept the traditional twin pot exhaust intact and have tried to tune the acoustics to offer an old school tune. What we didn't know until the event was the underpinnings. The base is a traditional double cradle frame with conventional telescopic forks and twin gas charge shocks at the rear provided by the good folks at Gabriel. In terms of braking components, you get a 280mm disc with a twin piston floating caliper up front and a 153mm drum at the rear. And that means you just get single channel ABS. There are spoke rims at both ends, but the front is an 18 incher while the rear is 17 inches only. The Java retails for rupees 1.64 lakh ex showroom Delhi. And at that price, it is 11 grand more expensive than the Royal Enfield Classic 350 gunmetal grey ABS. So this Java will tug at your heartstrings and make you fall in love with the Java brand all over again. So if you are one who craves the original Java, this bike should be the right choice. The 42 is a modern interpretation of the Java shape as it gets an offset instrument cluster, bar and mirrors and a heavy dosage of black instead of chrome. It comes in 4 matte colors and 2 metallic colors of which this Lumos lime looks the coolest. It shares the underpinnings with the Java with slight differences in the ergonomics. The 42 is the most affordable of the new Java bikes as it retails for rupees 1.55 lakh ex showroom Delhi. So if you are someone who likes their neo retro bikes to be a bit more neo than retro, then the 42 should work out just fine. Thanks to the slight modern touches it adds to the classic Java style. Plus the trendy colors will make you stand apart from the crowd as well. There was a third bike on the stage but that does not go on sale anytime soon. It is Java's first factory custom and they have called it the Perak. The Perak is a traditional bobber with a redesigned chassis and swing arm. It carries a monoshock setup at the rear which is neatly tucked in under the seat. It has a larger 334cc motor which is essentially a bored out version of the 293cc mill found on the other two. This motor makes more power 30.4 PS to be exact and more torque 31 Newton meters which is slightly more than the other two bikes. Another small update is in the braking department. The Perak gets a rear disc and that means it gets dual channel ABS making it a safer ride. While there are no concrete plans of when we can see the Perak on our roads, Java has launched it for rupees 1.89 lakh ex showroom Delhi. We expect that this will be hitting the showrooms sometime around late 2019 or even early 2020. This bobber is for those who value style and performance over outright nostalgia. It's a case of form over function and the Perak certainly isn't as practical as the other two Javas. That said, it does get a bigger motor, a rear disc and so you will enjoy the bike a bit more. 
Classic Legends has got 105 dealerships signed up for the Jawas and the same will start getting operational from 5th December onwards. Online bookings have already opened by paying a nominal charge of Rs 5000 which is completely refundable. Deliveries for both the Java and the 42 will start from the first quarter of 2019. We will be getting our hands on both these bikes soon enough so stay tuned for more of the resurgence of the Java brand here at zigwheels.com.